Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Twilight. A canyon of fire, just opened on the sun. A dark filament of magnetism whipsawed out of the sun's atmosphere on July 15, carving a gigantic canyon of fire. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded the eruption. The walls of the canyon, which stretch diagonally across the video, are 20,000 kilometers high and 10 times as long. They trace the channel where the filament was suspended by magnetic forces above the sun's surface, before instabilities flung it skyward. Geomagnetic Storm Watch. Minor G1 class geomagnetic storms are possible on July 20 or 21 when a slow moving CME is expected to hit Earth's magnetic field. The CME was hurled into space by Friday's Canyon of Fire eruption. On this solar flare classification chart, for the last three days, there has been three M class flares that have occurred. This HMI intensity gram map, for today, shows eight sunspot regions on the Earth facing side of the Sun. The latest solar eruptions, are shown on this LASCOC2 filter, 16th through the 17th. Here's a wider view of the same eruptions, on this LASCOC3 filters. On this map, are seen the coronal holes, that are rotating to face the Earth as early as tomorrow. Here they can be observed on this SDO211 filter. Coronal holes are the source of fast solar wind streams which sometimes have the potential to produce minor to moderate geomagnetic storms. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.